Hello and welcome back to PE Academy. So this is isometric drawing through So so far I've been putting you through how to draw isometric drawing in engineering or technical drawing. And we've looked at 11 drawings so far. So this is the twelfth one. So if you miss any of the uh, the 11 drawings that we've looked at in the past, uh, in previous video, just check the description of this particular video. You'll find a link to those videos. And if you are new here or that you are yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free to subscribe. Also, I also have uh, important information to share with, with you or to give you at the end of this particular video. So do make sure you watch this uh, drawing till the end. So in this uh, drawing, this is what you are going to be drawing. You are going to be replicating this drawing. So this is another isometric drawing. So to start with, we are going to be drawing our horizontal line. So I'll bring down my T-square a bit. Then I'll draw my vertical line. So now you notice the point of intersection. So this is it, the point of intersection. And then we bring in our set square, place it on, on the T square, and draw this line. So we are having something like this. So you are still working with fence line. So now let's start to take uh, measurements. So from where we started the drawing. So from here to here is uh, the total is eight centimeter. From here to here, that's 80 mm. Why from here to here is the total of 30. So let's do that. So, and then you can see that this is from here to here is 20 and then from here to here is 60. Why from here to here is 20, from here to here is 10. So this makes a total of 80 and this makes a total of 30. So let's do that. So, and on this side. So this is 20 plus another 10. So from one, two, three, from those four points, I'm going to be drawing these vertical lines that I'm having here. So I'm going to be drawing it from those points. So make sure your set square is sitting properly on your T square. So another thing we want to do now is we want to draw this line from here to here and from this to this point. Alright, so these lines, the vertical lines are these lines here, they are 15 millimeter high. So let me measure it. So that is 15 millimeter. So I can go ahead to draw this, make it bold. That is 15 millimeter high. So I'll use that same one measurement to get that of the rest. So the next one is for this one.
So I'll just draw it, come and touch this vertical line here. So from this point, which is same as this point, I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to first of all make it a faint line. So now let me make this uh, vertical line. Let me make make it bold. So this is what diagram currently looks like. Now let's look at this. Now from this this point, that is from here to here, we have it to be uh, 40 millimeter. You can see 40 millimeter. Why this space here? This space here is 10. Is 10, and then the one we are having here is 1.5. So let's note those things that we've just mentioned now. So, we have it to be 4, 40 plus another 10 and another 1.5. And also let's note here, so this place is also measuring 15, 15 millimeter. That means from here to here. So let's also note it here. So I can go ahead to draw this line as from this point to this point and from this point to this point. So now let's make this what we are having here. So to do that, you place your set square in this direction. Draw it inward. And you can see it went inward by 20 mm. So from here to here, 20 mm. So I'll just measure it. So 20 mm is here. So I haven't lost that point. I'll bring in the set square again. So you can see the set square is doing a lot of work in, when it comes to isometric drawing. So from there, you connect it to this other line. And then you turn it the other way. So you'll be having something like this. Then you set your set square in angle 90 position. So from this point, you draw it vertical line like this. So this is what we are currently having. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. So now what is left now is for us to have this what we are having here so to fix it here so in, for us to do that bring in our set square you adjust it from this point you draw this line downward you turn it to the other side you join it for them to intercept from their point of intersection so from these three points one and the point of intersection here two and from this, we are going to draw vertical lines. So 
so these vertical lines that we've just drawn let's see the height is 20 millimeter yeah 20 so i'll measure it 20 millimeter so they are 20 millimeter tall so this is it so from where i've just marked it so since we have it we've measured it here there's no need to start measuring this and measuring this so with the help of our set square we'll be able to get that point those points rather so when it touches the line so you turn your set square to the other the other way around so from here So this line seems long. So so now let's make those vertical lines, so let's make it bold, so let's make it a thick line. Remember we started with fence lines. And then this one, let's also make it thick. And with this, you see, we've been able to replicate this isometric drawing. So it's important to know that once, so from this diagram that you are seeing here, if you are looking at all this um, faint line that I'm having beside the main diagram itself, like the extension here, I, I, I know that you are seeing it, but make sure it's very, it's very faint. For example, if you look the one that you have in here, you can barely see it. You can barely see it. But the reason why you can see this one is that if I should make it very faint, you might not be seeing it. The camera might not be able to pick pick it very well. So make sure you notice that when you are drawing, make sure that your construction line, those faint lines are very faint so that the diagram itself can come out thick. So now the next thing I want to do is to add the dimensions. So don't forget I said you should uh, watch it, make sure you watch this video to the end as I have an important information to share with you if you have been watching this video uh, this far. So this is 40 and this is this is 10. So I, I believe you find uh, you've been able to find value in this video and if you have any question or any comments do leave them in the comment section below. So now I, what, what did I say I want to share with you at the end of this video. Now so far we've looked at 12 examples under the 12 different drawing under isometric drawing isometric projection. Now in the next set of video that we are going to be looking at these are the next examples are examples that are really going to if you can do such example then that really means that you will be able to construct just any 
I repeat, just any isometric drawing because the next set of examples that we are going to be looking at are not technical but a little more, uh, should I use the word advanced, so make sure you don't miss it. And before we get into that video, starting from video 13, I want you to take out time to practice all the ones that we've looked at so far. Take out time to practice, don't just watch it alone. Pick your drawing paper, your, your drawing board, you know, your set square, your, your pencil, everything, and then put the, all these things into practice. So, I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing you in video 13. Video 13 will be coming up immediately after this video. So, these are videos, like I said, that will really um, test your understanding on all what we've looked at so far. So, thank you very much. And that video 13 will be coming up immediately after this video. And please, if you are yet to subscribe, please click on that subscribe button showing on your screen. And I'll see you all in video 13.